Good morning, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood, St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son, the diaspora machismo. My people, let us pick up from where we left off yesterday. Yesterday, I was telling you about Ralph Gonsav election promises that he did not keep. Yesterday, I dealt with his promise to bring 1,000 new jobs to St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the first 100 days in office. His promises to bring industry to our country, which he never fulfilled. And his promise to bring in investors. But we saw the only investors Ralph Gonzalez were instrumental in attacking were criminals who oppress and exploit our people, who fail to live up to their commitments to the country and to the government. For example, he's David Ames. He did not create a new job. He did not start any industry. He did not bring any legitimate investors that the country could have benefited from. Today, I want to talk about Ralph Gonsal's promise to the citizenry of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to enact integrity, integrity legislation in the first year of his office. We are still waiting. 22 years later, we are still waiting for Ralph Gonsal to enact integrity legislation and put it on the books of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But when you ask yourself, why would a man, why will a man with a lack of integrity go through the trouble to formulate laws that he will have to answer to in the long run? My people, Ralph Gonsalves is the most dishonest man they have in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Not only is he dishonest, he is a criminal and he is a stupid criminal. Let me qualify this. In 2007, I think it is, forgive me if the date is wrong, a female police officer by the name of Michelle Andrews came forward and made an allegation against Ralph Gonzalez. She first made that allegation immediately after the incident took place to Sergeant or Inspector Charles, Crocus Charles, who later was rewarded for his mishandling of Michelle Andrews' report to him with the post of commissioner. Before I go on, let, let me remind you this. In inc incidents of rape and sexual assault or sexual offenses, the first person after the offense was committed that the victim report to, their evidence or testimony is admissible in the court of law. With that said, let me prove how stupid a criminal Ralph Gonsalves is. Michelle Andrews accused him of raping her and sexually assaulting her. Yet, Ralph Gonsalves went on national radio and admitted to being in the area Michelle Andrews accused him of being in and to committing the crime, one of the crimes Michelle Andrews accused him of committing against her. He said that he gave Michelle Andrews a reassuring kiss. If you kiss someone without their permission, it is a sexual assault. But we all know criminals often 
confess to the least of their crimes in order to appear genuine and honest. That is how stupid a man Ralph Gonsalve is. Let us look at a pattern here. Michelle Andrews was a police officer. Her duty was to protect Ralph Gonsalves' home and Ralph Gonsalves and his family. Yet Michelle Andrews became a victim to Ralph Gonsalves acting in the best interest of her country and acting in the best interest of Ralph Gonsalves. Margaret Parsons, a Canadian human rights lawyer, who, whose parents are Vincentians. Margaret Parsons visited St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the land of her parents' birth with her parents. She discovered from Mr. Commission, the lawyer Commission, that St. Vincent is in the process of revising their constitution. Margaret Parsons, being patriotic, to the land of her parents' birth, wanted to contribute to the revision of the Constitution of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, made an appointment with Ralph Gonzalez to discuss having women's rights being enshrined in our Constitution. Ralph Gonzalez tried to rape that woman in his office. He sexually assaulted her. If Margaret Parsons was not a big woman, and a woman who was not willing to be abused by anyone who pushed him away hardly according to Margaret Parsons and ran out of his office. Margaret Parsons would have been a rape victim as we speak. Let us move on to Miranda Woods, a teenager, a child, just 15 years old, who had been working on her craft of netball. She excelled to a certain extent where Miranda Woods, at 15 years old, was selected to play on the St. Vincent and the Grenadines national netball team. Miranda Woods went out to look for sponsorship with a sponsor work so that she can contribute to her trip with the national netball team. Went to Ralph Gonzalez's office to look for sponsorship a sporting ambassador, a teenager who have qualified, not because of an appointment, but because of her skill to represent St. Vincent as a sporting ambassador, went to Ralph Gonzalez's office to solicit help for a national netball team. Ralph Gonzalez almost raped her in his office. So you see a pattern here? Have you seen the pattern as yet? So therefore, you must ask yourself, why would a man ha who has problem with integrity ever pass legislation that is going to hamper him, legislation that is going to be effective in conflicting him because he is a criminal? My people, Ralph Gonsal was a criminal a long time. Ralph Gonsalves was a lecturer at the UWI Cavefield campus in Barbados in the 1970s. Ralph Gonsalves was accused of raping a fellow lecturer. The lecturer said that he raped him. He raped her, sorry. She made a report to the police. The report got to the Prime Minister's office and the police put out a sting operation to apprehend Ralph Gonsalves, the rapist. However, Mr. King from Union Island, a man who operates a vessel with the aid of Ralph Gons with, with Burns of Burns Bonnady, who contacted Mr. King. Mr. King and Buzz Bonnady, just a Ralph Gonsalves like a woman, pass him on to the port 
unto Mr. King Vessel and Mr. King brought him to St. Vincent. We have to blame Mr. King and Bones Bonnelly for unleashing the terror that is Ralph Guns has upon St. Vincent and the Grenadines. When Ralph Guns came to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, he started a rumor. When Ralph Gonzalez returned to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, he started a rumor that one of the lecturers at the Kefil campus in Barbados, according to him, was fucking with the Prime Minister. He bought the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister found out and was trying to vindictive, being, take vindictive action against him. Ralph Gonzalez thinks if he rapes a person that he is in a relationship with that person the same way he started a rumor when Michelle Andrews accused him of raping her that he and Michelle Andrews had a relationship and he was fucking Michelle Andrews that is what he said so you ask yourself why would a rapist a habitual rapist and a liar and a thief enact integrity legislation that would only come back to bite him in the backside. My name is Chief Strongblood, St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son, the diaspora machismo. I'm out.